Welcome back to the channel guys, uh, just Stu and Graham from Battleforge Brothers, uh, thanks um, for tuning in. Um, just a small little update there for you guys, uh, it's competition time. Um, so three months ago uh, we did a competition, um, just a small little competition uh, to win some of the uh, like the Snap Fit uh, Primaris Reavers, uh, these guys. Uh, if you haven't seen the video, um, obviously you have, you have unfortunately missed out. but. Keep in, keep in touch with us because we might do some more in the future. So thanks very much for guys for everyone for watching. Um, if you've already watched the video before you'll see that what we did this for is once once we hit 200 subscribers. Um, and as of today, uh, which is the 16th of November, um, to obviously 2017, uh, we're currently at uh, I think 226. 226. Yeah, 226 subscribers. Um, so. All, the, all I can say is a massive, massive thank you to everyone who's uh, tuned in, like what you've seen, and obviously sub, uh, give us a sub. There's some a lot of positive comments on our um, on our videos as well, and and obviously a couple of other ones as well. I never look, at, we've never really looked at negative, really. It's always you know just a couple of pointers, so I appreciate them as well. But very quickly, we'll do that first. Uh, there's a couple of other things that we just want to chat about as well. Uh, very quickly, it'll be about five, five, ten minute video ish. Um, so. Comments that we had on the video, uh, well, um, we had 135 views. So a lot of guys have obviously watched it. A lot of guys and girls, of course. Um, a lot of people didn't didn't actually comment on it. Um, you know, unfortunately, obviously, you know, the, those who haven't commented because it was for the comments on it. Um, you aren't in the run this time, uh, but certainly next time. Uh, you know, same again. Just leave a comment. But certainly appreciate the views on the video. So as for comments, we've received uh, seven. Um, in total, uh, obviously we have replied to them as well as often as we um, the, the ones that required replying to. So we're just going to do a random um, random generator just on random.org, uh, just from the numbers one to seven. So what we'll do is we'll just generate that now, and then we will of course let you know who it is and get in touch with us. So just generating that now. So out of the seven comments, it is the fifth comment down. Um, and I believe that is <laughs> Wolf Wraith. Um, so that is that is Michael. So it is totally random. Just to keep you, we haven't fixed it. It is totally random. Um, so uh, Wolf Wraith, um, your comment. Um, obviously, I'm going to read that out. Um, you put three months ago. You put you guys uh, and them shout outs. Uh, awesome vids so far, guys. Looking forward to uh, till next time. Uh, the channel's approach to the vid makes it uh, easy watch for anybody. Uh, don't have to be a rules wizard to follow along. I uh, would love to see every now and then at the end of campaigns, uh, etc., to see some combined army games. Um, maybe it's four players' games all along, like 1000 ish, like a, like a, like a brawl. Um, I do like that idea, and I think that uh, we'll, we'll certainly do that in the future as well. All for all. Exactly, yeah. Like the, like the good old days. Um, like, like uh, I suppose, like 40k version of Destruction Derby. Everybody all going in. Um, so, thank you very much for everybody who's commented. We, um, it was a small amount of comments, but all the comments were, were very positive um, and uh, giving us hints and tips as well, um, all the way from like Eddie Beer to Wolf Wraith to you know, um, Dormammu. There's quite a lot of people that have commented on it um, that, that we've seen quite a lot of times. So, um, so uh, Wolf Wraith, obviously, get in touch with us. Um, you, you've already got our details as well. You've been on the channel, so drop us an email um, and we'll get the uh, Primaris Reavers over to you. Um, and you can more than likely nurgle them up and all you. Um, so that's the competition all done. So like I say, once again, if you haven't won this time, of course, you know, stick with us because it's certainly not gonna be the very f uh, the first one that we'll do. Uh, it certainly won't be the last. Um, right, next that we just wanna rule on is, um, you've been quite busy lately, Grim, haven't you? Uh, um, yes, in the uh, design studio yeah. slash my office. Your office at work, yeah. Work. <laughs> yeah, so, You've already probably seen if you're watching this video, you've probably already seen that we've changed our logo, um, and we're not obviously not wearing our old T-shirts. Um, they're now gone. Uh, old logo out, new logo in. Um, I think that the old logo served its purpose, um, but a little bit basic. So we have updated. Well, more Graham's updated uh, to give us a new logo. So if you haven't already seen it, obviously Graham's just going to give us a quick show, um, just of what what the whole the whole logo will look like. Um, so just wanted to go for something nice and nice and simple really and but a little bit more high def I suppose so obviously like reflecting and things like that um, so that'll be on the new t-shirts that we 
get get changed over and everything as well. So that's the rebranding. Um, we do have some new thumbnails as well uh, that we've been changing it as well that you'll sort of obviously end up seeing on our battle reports. And just leading into battle reports, um, what we're going to start doing, uh, mainly just because uh, uh, obviously of life basically, uh, pe people doing college and obviously shift work as well. Um, what we're going to do for the battle reports, just so that we're not rushing out uh, battle reports that are not up to the quality that, that we want them to be, um, what we're going to do is we're going to do the battle reports uh, bi-weekly. It just gives us enough time to do a proper battle report that's not rushed, it's not just hashed together just because the latest codex is out or anything like that. Um, what we're doing is obviously gives us enough time and it gives you guys something something good to watch. Um, you know, you can tell that it's not kind of midnight release for the codex, right? We must get a battle report out an hour, an hour later, loses the quality and things like that. So that's why we're, we're doing this. So hope you understand that. But like I say, we'll still do you know the, the product reviews, the, up, the updates. Just for the updates, this is the last one that we will do for this year. Um, obviously, we're in the middle of November now. Late into December, Christmas time, this, that, and the other, and then we'll start a start brand new chapter with the, with all of you subscribers, starting January, and just leading into the the next year. A couple of plans that we've got on the board for that. Um, battle reports they aren't going anywhere. So, what you will end up seeing as well, though, however, um, in regards to the the terrain, um, if you're a following on Facebook, and I encourage you to do so as well, because you guys who do. Um, you'll already kind of know what, what what I'll end up saying in regards to the terrain. Um, me and Graham have both been working on making some custom terrain, so the Eldar terrain uh, does feature very, very slightly on the the Eldar and Necron battle report that was uploaded, uh, but also some Tal terrain uh, that Graham's been making as well. So uh, check that out on the Facebook page as well. Uh, of course, there will be uh, the, the link at the end of the vid as well. Um, and of course, in regards about armies, because a few people do ask about armies, um, you know, there's very new armies coming, um, you know, to the channel at the moment. Uh, at the moment, I'm going to say no. Um, and that is purely because I'm, I'm personally re-ramping re uh, my forces, which you're going to see in the Tyranid uh, battle report soon as well, just with a new codex, uh, a couple of new things. But the Harlequins are on the back burner at the moment as well. Just because they're taking they're taking a lot of a lot of the time away, um, and there are only a small force at this stage anyway, so they are on the back burner. Um, Thousand Suns, they're getting a little bit of a rebranding, and uh, the Necrons are as well. There's a couple of cool things happened to the Necrons actually, um, and obviously I know that Grim, I know you are revamping your Tau. Yes, I'm currently revamping the Tau. Um, revamping as in game. Uh, didn't like the old paint scheme, repainting a, a different colour. Um, that's hopefully uh, I've got a 2,000 points force coming up soon uh, just a few units to paint on that then I can debut the Tau terrain as well as the new Tau army um, the Primaris Marines I'm working on them uh, trying to get them done um, and also that's been sitting on the back burner for the most of this year has been the Orcs hoping to get them on soon with it, uh, you know, a 2,000 point army as well yeah, definitely need the orcs on, but uh, understandably they are taking the back burner. But um, you guys obviously haven't seen anything to do with the town yet, so won't until the debut. Um, but it is worth the wait. Um, so it, it is, it does look a lot better, uh, nice, nice and striking, so to speak. And that's all I'm going to say on that. Um, only other thing, really, guys, is that I just want to mention is uh, we're planning on doing um, a couple of narrative campaigns. Um, I'm gonna, uh, we're gonna get um, Michael involved in that as well. Yeah. Because um, Michael has showed a lot of interest in that. Um, Michael has been on the channel a couple of times. Um, he's not always on the channel, of course, in regards to uh, the battle reports and nine times out of ten between between obviously me and Graham. Um, but there's a lot of stuff that he does in the background as well. He doesn't really, really. Uh, he, he just promotes a lot of it. Uh, so you know, uh, he, he does some really good stuff for us. So. Um, which is why, like I say, I had to show you the random generator because it really is random. Uh, we didn't we didn't pick them because of that, so uh, it is totally randomised. If, if I could just interrupt, if there's any gamers local to us in the the northeast of England, within I would say the Sunland, Peterlee, Seam area, you know, if you're into 40k, you do want to have a game, you know, 
give us a shout. Yeah, absolutely. We'll feature yeah, we'll, on the channel. Li- yep, uh, just drop us an email or comment on one of the battle reports. We'll certainly, you know, we'll certainly have uh, have games with you guys. It's always nice to meet new people and, of course, new armies and things and new player styles as well. Um, so absolutely. So apart from that, guys, I think that's pretty much everything that we want to run through. Um, apart from uh, that, that's pretty much it, really. Uh, battle reports will uh, be running up um, pretty much, I would imagine, until maybe it's Christmas week, um, and then we'll, we'll more than likely have like a two-week break then. So it'll be a little bit on stagnated, but we'll have, we'll have a back, uh, like a back a backwards catalogue for that. Um, but apart from that, um, to hear from us. I uh, hope you all have an awesome Christmas and an awesome New Year as well. Yeah. So thanks very much, guys, and until then, happy Wargaming.